Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I have another non-LEGO video for you guys. I just received my copy of the Loki Season 1 Blu-ray in the mail, and because this is the very first show from Disney Plus that's ever being released as physical media, I wanted to do a little unboxing for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I can't remember if I got the steel book or just the regular DVD, but I think it might just be the regular DVD. Um, yes, it is just the collector's edition Blu-ray, but it still includes the concept art cards. Because I was just thinking, if I didn't get the steelbook, then is there really anything to unbox? But no, there still is. So this is what it looks like. So it still comes in like a steelbook, I guess. That's pretty nice. I didn't get the 4K because I don't have a 4K TV. But for WandaVision, I did pre-order both the 4K version and the regular Blu-ray because I'm a huge WandaVision fan. But I'm really excited to open this, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so with the plastic off, we can go ahead and remove this cardboard sleeve. Um, it did just give some basic information about the show. You guys know what Blu-ray backs look like. Uh, but then we can get a closer look at the collectible steelbook. So I really like this back cover with the sacred timeline and he who remains is like circular window. And then you have Loki and Miss Minutes over here. And then on the front, of course, we have Loki. I don't really love this design, like with the doorway in the middle of his chest and then him and Sylvie. I think that it's just like a little bit awkward. Um, I think between like the Mandalorian covers and the WandaVision covers, this is my least favorite. The WandaVision cover is absolutely amazing. I can't believe I need to wait until November to get it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is still cool. I really like the colors, and I just love that they designed exclusive art for these uh, physical media releases instead of reusing the main posters for the shows, because that's what most like movies and TV shows do anyway, and I don't think anyone would have had a problem with reusing like the main posters. I will say, though, I feel like Sylvie should be on the back, like, I know she's on the front, but she's a major part of this show, and, like, having Loki three times, like, the same Loki three times on the artwork is a little bit much to me. But let's go ahead and break this open. Ooh, they're greeting us with Alligator Loki, so we're already off to a good start. And these are really nice discs. So we have... Is this Loki? Like, that looks kind of like President Loki because of the horns. Um, cause yeah, that's not Sylvie cause her horns are much smaller, but so we have president Loki, I guess. So episodes one to three are on the first disc. And then if we pop that off, I like this disc much more with the like main Loki helmet, like from Avengers with episodes four to six. It's kind of funny that the horned helmet is on both of these discs though, because he never really wears it in the show at all. So, and that was actually one of my main complaints with the first season. Um, so I think it's really funny that they're going so hard on it, on the actual disc designs. So underneath the concept art cards, it looks like we get that shot of Loki on the train throwing his knife, which again, it's cool, but I would kind of expect Sylvie to be on the other side. And she isn't, because it's just like the other half of the knife throwing sequence. So that seems a little odd to me, because again, the show really is like a two-hander between Loki and Sylvie. So I find it odd that this physical media like is only about him when the show is really about both of them and arguably even more about Sylvie than it is Tom Hiddleston's Loki. Um, but yeah, again, that, that's why I didn't like the first season that much because it wasn't really about Loki. It was about Sylvie. And I thought Sylvie was way more interesting than him. I liked her so much more than this version of Loki. So I'm really excited to see where both of them go in season two but I don't really care at all about regular Loki anymore because Sylvie has that edge to her that Tom Hiddleston's Loki just doesn't have at all anymore. But let's go ahead and look at the concept art cards. They come in this little sleeve, which I thought was just open at the top, but no, you do need to just peel it open. There's no other like information or anything though. Oh, I thought that that was like a sticky thing, but it wasn't. You just have to rip it open. Um, I would have liked if that was like resealable, you know? But over here, we have Alligator Loki at the foot of Classic Loki. And I love Alligator Loki, so I'm very happy with this. I think he looks adorable, and I hope we see more of him in Season 2. Then next, we have 
what is this? Is this like when they're trying to get on the train? I don't really know because I can't tell who that man is that Loki's talking to. Um, and it's kind of hard for me to see around the camera to get a better look. But yeah, I don't really know what scene this is supposed to depict. And then this is... Again, I don't know, like, is this supposed to be Eliath? Because it doesn't look like the apocalypse that they went to in, like, 2050s Earth. So I can't really tell what it's supposed to be, but all of these... Yeah, there's only three of these. Um, I was expecting more like four or five, to be honest. Um, but all of these, I think, are never-before-seen concept art, so they are pretty cool additions. I just, I do think there, there could have been more of them. I mean, I, I don't remember how much this cost. I think it was, like, 35 US dollars. And Blu-rays, for movies at least, are usually like 25 So this is like $10 more and you get three exclusive concept art cards and you get like the Steelbook. So I guess that's like an okay value, but I don't know. I was just expecting something a little bit more, I guess. I guess that's kind of it for this unboxing though. Uh, this isn't really like a review, so I'm not going to be watching the deleted scenes for the purpose of this video. Although I probably will do that for WandaVision because I'm so excited to see those deleted scenes. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm not like the biggest fan of the Loki show. I definitely don't dislike it. It's just not my favorite. WandaVision is, as I'm sure you can also tell. Um, so, so this is cool. I just bought it because I like having physical media. You know, I like owning all of the MCU movies. And so when I heard that Loki would be getting, you know, a collectible Blu-ray, I was like, sure, why not? You know, why not get it? Because I'm definitely going to get the WandaVision one, and I hope they release all of the Marvel shows on Blu-ray. And something I want to mention is that I'm glad the assembled documentaries are included on these DVDs, because it said on the little cardboard backing that you get the assembled documentary. And that is a nice bonus feature. And so I really feel like, you know, releasing these physical media discs is a great idea. But I, I don't know, like I said, I just expected a little bit more for the price. Like the exclusive artwork is nice, both the concept art cards and like the design of the packaging. But I just, like I said, I expected a little bit more. I don't know what I'm missing. Like maybe some more con concept art would be cool. Maybe if I could recognize what those other two scenes are, because it's not like they come with information letting you know what they are. At least I don't think so. Yeah, like there's nothing on the back. It's not like they give you a description of the scene. So you don't really know what you're looking at. Um, unless it's something obvious like Alligator Loki. And then again, even like with the plastic, this is a huge nitpick, I'll be perfectly honest, but I don't like putting these cards just into the steelbook like this. I wish the plastic was resealable so that I could protect them a little bit from like the clips. And so I guess it's just little touches like that that would have improved this steelbook for me. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to take a look at the WandaVision one when it comes out. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below and whether or not you're going to be buying it. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.